I think the um, hot topics currently uh, in the field of echocardiography and cardiology in general are structural heart disease, um, heart failure and um, risk factors for heart failure. Um, and particularly if you want to think about echocardiography, uh, we are uh, seeing a lot of interest uh, in three-dimensional echocardiography and um, speckle tracking echocardiography, understanding myocardial mechanics. Uh, so uh, essentially the field of echocardiography is really maturing itself uh, and uh, what we are recognizing is the workflow issues. How do we use the information incrementally in different settings? Um, are there ways and means to uh, use computational techniques to intelligently apply uh, echocardiography? How do we use uh, echocardiography in combination with um, uh, mobile applications uh, so that you can bring it to remote parts of the countries and uh, uh, use it more um, uh, universally? So uh, ultrasound is a very universal technique. Uh, is it, it can be used in the communities and it's really uh, uh, something that needs to be seen in the future of how this field overall is going to develop. So in general, it's, uh, this session, this Congress uh, is covering a lot of these topics and, and uh, I think it's going to be a, a lot of interest in the near future to see how echocardiography is going to evolve for care of uh, patients and also for preventative and community aspects. So. so I think the next steps in echocardiography is going to be how do you make it efficient? How do you standardize the processes? Uh, how do you make it uh, more automated uh, so that uh, you have more precision in the data? Uh, and, and also, how do you use uh, computational algorithms to take the, all the information that comes from uh, echocardiography, be it uh, the, the standard echocardiography, traditional parameters, plus the newer parameters from 3D and speckle tracking, combining them and delivering them to uh, the physicians uh, so that they can understand uh, the information that is most important for them to take uh, care of uh, the decisions uh, that are required. And this whole thing needs to be packaged very efficiently so that they can be used in real time for the, making the decisions of the clinical uh, care of the patients. I think uh, uh, a Congress like World Congress uh, always brings in um, uh, to the realization of what's happening globally. Um, uh, for me particularly to come to Romania and see what the uh, practice of uh, cardiology, what are the kinds of uh, situations uh, and the way people practice. Uh, I think there's a lot of information everywhere across the world, uh, practices and patterns differ. And I think we all understand and realize that there are opportunities we uh, do not know about when we, uh, which we can recognize when we come together and uh, seeing the best of uh, all the parts of the world and then um, learning from it, uh, uh, such uh, congress and experiences and, uh, and then utilizing in your models of uh, 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 care and of your patients. So I think this is, these are the unique ways uh, uh, and the unique opportunities that Congress provides uh, in really evolving into the next frontier in uh, service models. I think I'm very, uh, I'm very pleased with the attendance and uh, the, the inquisitiveness and the eagerness of uh, uh, the Congress um, uh, and the attendees to learn and the house, the, all, the, all the rooms are jam-packed and I think there's a lot of interest and it's, it's, uh, it's been, there's been a lot of enthusiasm. It's very, I'm very pleased uh, to see the enthusiasm.